Hello guys, this is Sean. It's not Pastor Sean this time. This is just regular Sean. This is not a video I'm putting up where it's a sermon or a podcast. I just thought it'd be a fun idea to uh, do a TMI tag video. I'm pretty sure I did a version of it like last October, but I don't really remember. I just watched that Alex Jeans video and thought, I mean, he didn't tag me in it, but I thought like, oh, you know, I'll do one for fun, I guess. <clears throat> Anyways, so I'm going to do the TMI tags on the thing here on my phone, and there's about 50 questions on it. So, yeah, you guys get to see a little bit about, or learn a little bit about me. I'm not a good talker, so I don't know why I was called to be a pastor, but... But then again, why was Moses called to apart the Red Sea when he had a lisp and he couldn't talk? Well, actually, someone talked for him. It was like her or Aaron's. All right, anyways, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. <clears throat> you guys can learn a little bit about me. I mean, I like to do fun things like this, but for the most part, I'm actually a pretty private person. I don't like to share my emotions that much, but I just thought, oh, what the hey? Okay, so TMI tag video. Sorry, I thought someone knocked on the door. Um, all right, I'm going to do the first question. <clears throat> Number one, what are you wearing? Clothes. Number two, ever been in love? Yes. Yes, I was in love, deeply in love when I was in high school. And I don't know if a crush is the same as love, but yeah, I, I guess I was in love. Um, I'm sort of in love now. It's just, I mean, not, so, not sort of. I mean, it's just weird to talk about, but yeah, I'm dating this girl and right now for the last month and it's going really well. Let's keep it at that. I'm in love, yes. Okay, anyways. Number three. Ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, I've had a, I've had a lot of them. <sighs> the first broke up, breakup that I can remember, I was in California, and it was over uh, online. I never met the girl, but I pretty much told her to, when she was going to clubs to stop doing drugs at raves, and after doing it for like the hundredth time, I broke it off with her. Then I broke it off with a different one that was la early, very early last year, last January. I mean, it's January now, so that's a year. We never became a thing, though. Marcelina's birthday. I don't know who that is. Um, so, <clears throat> um, yeah, I've had a bunch of messy breakups, yeah. So... And I ripped up a book because she wanted me to read A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burris. This one, one, I'll just call Boo. I'm not going to say a real first and last name, but I ripped up the book and set it on fire because I got so upset about how she was treating me. And then the one after that, pretty much along the same lines. Okay, next one is number four, how tall are you? I am six foot, exactly. Number five, how much do you weigh? It's a little embarrassing, but right now I weigh about 224 pounds. Between two, that 224, 225, sometimes it's like 226. Even though uh, Roman, Rowan Alexander, this uh, my old wrestling teacher, he wanted me to get from like 176 to the one I'm at now, but in muscle mass. So that's back when I used to force feed myself in 2008. I'm cultivating mass, though, so either way it counts. Okay, my alarm clock turned on for no reason. That was weird. Anyways, I'll go and continue. Um, any tattoos? Number six. 
Yes, I have three of them. I got one right here that says Psalm 4610. I got one on my shoulder blade. No, this one. This shoulder blade says Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. And then I got one on the back of my calf on the right side of the Celtic cross. Or Celtic cross, however you want to say it. And it says every saint has a past. And so that's three. I was planning on getting three more, but I'm not in a rush to do it. Um, or however much I want to get. I don't want to get like way too many, but I'm comfortable with what I have now. Number seven, any piercings. I used to have piercings in both ears. I used to have like a double zero gauges, but I, my ears went back to normal and I don't wear them anymore. <clears throat> OTP, I don't know what that is. No, Alex said his video, you know. I should have looked that up. I don't know, I, other people's private parts, like that rap song. Um, yeah, I got one. Number nine, favorite show of all time is probably Breaking Bad. Second one's The X-Files, and then The Simpsons, probably number three, and then South Park, number four, but... Uh, favorite show right now that I'm watching is probably Mr. Nightmare on YouTube. I really should stop watching those videos. like Because I watch his videos like midnight, one in the morning. I really should stop doing that. Um, favorite bands. Number 10. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, six minutes. Okay, so favorite bands. Uh, right now I'm really into this band called Elvis Depressedly. And it like, really pissed me off when my girlfriend came down with her friend. And she got a Zia cards for Christmas, and then Zia didn't have it, but they never have anything I'm looking for. I don't know why I just don't buy CDs online, but, or records online. But favorite bands, I guess, my all-time favorite band. <clears throat> I don't know, probably Orgy, or I would say Slipknot, but I like the, their first three albums, including the Mate Feet Co. Repeat album, but... I don't like the last three albums they put out. I think their quality's just really gone downhill, but they've been a band for like over 20 years, so it's like, it's just kind of like whatever. But my favorite artist that I'm currently listening to right now, <clears throat> just over and over again, is Kendrick Lamar and also Gold Link. Um, something You Miss, number 11. Something I miss. I miss teaching men's groups or Bible studies like at coffee houses and people's apartments and stuff i miss uh teaching people the bible but i'm, I'm most likely going to start doing that pretty soon um favorite song number 12 right now probably aa from gold link uh number 13 how old are you i'm currently 27 and a half i didn't think i was going to live to this this long i thought i was going to die at like 17 or 18 so i'm surprised that i've live to my late 20s uh number 14 zodiac sign i am a leo born leader even though i find astrology interesting i don't believe in it um number 15 quality you look for in a partner i've talked about this a lot lately um <clears throat> quality in a partner That was my partner right there. Um, have to be civil with me. Have to show me respect. It, you can't, I, with me, there's no way getting around that. Red flag is probably the oral hygiene thing. I hate it when they don't brush your teeth and floss and stuff like that. When you like, when I'm kissing and it just tastes gross. I can't, I hate that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. That's not like a quality. Um, selflessness light-hearted sense of humor basically things that are close to like me and my personality where we can mesh well and get along very open-minded open to things that i'm interested in you know just like basics um favorite quote number 16 i don't do drugs i am drugs by salvador dali favorite actor number 17 uh, probably Al Pacino uh, and Philip Seymour Hoffman also Robert De Niro too and Brad Pitt even though I want like a, I want like maybe like one or two movies with Brad Pitt in it I'm a huge fan of Fight Club and also oh, what was that other one he was in 
I don't know. Anyways, probably Al Pacino is my all-time favorite. Um, number 19, loud music or soft? Currently, right now, I've been listening to a lot of soft music. Uh, just soft acoustic stuff or like maybe soft rap. Some, I've been listening to House lately. I mean, I just bought a Napalm Death CD. I've been listening to it, but like, I'm just not into it. I don't like it. I only like the first track, but all the other 14 tracks I'm just not into. I don't know if it's a thing where I'm just not really into metal that much anymore because I've just brought in my horizon, but I don't know, just not really into metal like right, like all that much right now, but I could get back into it. Uh, so yeah, I guess soft music. Um, number 20, where do you go when you're sad? Guardians of the Ancient Signs walking trail off Pantano Road here in Tucson. So I know I'm getting tagged in things right now because of my new book and but, you know, it's never going to happen. But if you ever see me and you want an autograph or something, you see me there, I'm probably going to be super pissed off or upset about something. So don't, please don't. That's my personal, like, don't talk to me when I'm there. Um, number 21. Oh, that freaking guy. Um, how long does it take you to shower? <sighs> if I'm on point that day and I really feel I'm on a mission, about five minutes. But if it's like every other day where I'm like depressed, probably one to three hours. Um, number 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? For what? I don't have a job. Number 23, ever been in a physical fight? Yeah, I've been in 11 of them. Two of them are street fights. Um, cause I used to do MMA and wrestling and, but I also do like backyard wrestling and amateur wrestling and things like that in the <laughs> past. So yeah, that was good. Sometimes it just ache to do it. Anyways, number 24, turn on. Like a voice or a uh, voice, um, a turn on. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, number twenty five, turn off. Same thing. Oral hygiene. Uh, red flag is uh, when you're boring. When I'm texting you, I I hate that. Um, a lot of women do that in Tucson. You know, before I met Nancy, but. You know, just either a boring personality or way too extreme, like, feminist personality. Like, those are huge. Like, to me, those are huge turnoffs. I immediately thought, like, turnoffs. Like, immediately. I can I can rifle off, like, five things right now, but I couldn't think of any turn-ons. Selflessness. I love that. Um, I think it's a turn-on when you're really sweet and kind and, like, polite. But sometimes I think it's, like, a turn-on when you're, like, purposely a jerk to me because I struggle with, like... Self-confidence, I guess. So, when I get berated or belittled or insulted, sometimes that's a turn-on. That's weird. Um, okay, number 26, the reason you joined YouTube. <clears throat> um, I originally joined uh, because I did not have a group back in 2011 while I was w living in California for a year. Um, <clears throat> I made uh, what I called mini bite-sized sermons. And my parents bought a computer at the time where it had the webcam like what this thing has <clears throat> with other things that are attached to the computer where I could make and upload and edit videos. <clears throat> so that was why I, <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> that's why I originally got on YouTube is because I wanted to put out sermon videos and I did it for fun. And uh, now I'm still doing it for pretty much the same reason. I mean, sometimes I want to get popular and whatnot, and I get pissed off when I put a video up and it doesn't have like 3 million views 24 hours later. But, yeah, I just got on because at the time I didn't have a Bible study to go to physically, like at a church or something. So I was like, oh, I'll just put them online, you know, what the, what the heck. Number 27, fears. Oh, dude, there's a lot of these. Um, fears? My biggest fear is getting Alzheimer's. In an old age, aging um, is a huge fear of mine. Losing my mind, huge fear. Uh, 
have a fear of big moths. And uh, I don't know, I really don't like fear that much. Um, I also fear being alone for like too long, like too long of a time, but nothing else really bothers me, even like morbid stuff, weird things. Ugh. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Number 28, last time, last thing that made you cry. Um, <clears throat> cry. I saw this documentary like two months ago. Um, I, don't, I forgot what it was called, but it was about these fighters named Ken Shamrock and Frank Shamrock. And they grew up in like a group home and they got adopted by this guy. His last name was Shamrock. So like I, <laughs> I just like really teared up and cried when I watched the end of the film because they hadn't talked in like 20 years or something for some rivalry. I, I don't remember exactly what it was. Because I was like, I watched it like one in the morning. I was already like really tired, but it caught me off. The Eddie caught me off guard. But they actually had to sit down at the Lions Den gym, and I think like Lockford, California, where Ken Shamrock is at training guys. And so when they uh, talked, they they talked things through, and they like said sorry to each other about things. Well, mostly actually, uh, uh, Frank Shamrock just he kept apologizing about things, and they got up and like when they hugged. Like, I just got, like, really emotional about it. But, uh, next one. Number 29. Last time you said you loved someone. <clears throat> uh, last time was my girlfriend. But, <coughs> I don't know if I... Dude. Okay, just a sec. I need to go clear my throat. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm feeling better. It's probably going to come back. Anyways, last time you said you loved someone. Last time it was my girlfriend. Uh, it was a couple days ago. It was the first time we exchanged those kind of words. It was really, really awkward for me. Um, i trying to sound like a jerk. Uh, it's just, like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but right now, I've just been having, like, like, a lot of trust issues with people, and, like, it's just kind of like every time I try to get in a relationship, it just never has worked out. And even though they kept saying, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be the last person up until this one, because the one I'm the girlfriend I'm with right now was like, like just aw completely awesome. Like I could totally see a future with her and like everything. She's just like, she's just so phenomenal. But it's, I, I don't know if I can need therapy or something, but it's just like she said it. And then I was like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I love you, too. You know, I just like, I have a, I have like a wall up. So I don't know. I need to talk to someone about that. Um, number 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. I forgot what it is. Oh, Sean loves stillness. So it's like Sean and then love stillness. Uh, Sean, just because my first name is Sean. The last one uh, for my YouTube account was like, the original one was called Inconspicuous and Flow and Flicked. And that was, I wrote that about like how love works between a man and a woman. <laughs> like it, love is like a virus. That was a long time ago. But Sean's, because Sean's my first name, I just figured just identify as that with the Christian YouTube channel. And Love Stillness is, uh, has to do with my tattoo of Psalm 4610 because it states, be still and know that I am God. I will be honored throughout the nations. I will be honored throughout the world. And it has to do that. I, I apply that to myself of uh, being still and knowing that God is in control because I freak out a lot in my head and I have like a, I've, you know, I have anxiety problems and like depression problems and things like that. So, um, it's just kind of like a reminder to myself when I wrote it because I'm always like on YouTube. It was like more for me, I guess, than for who's watching. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, no, that's right. That's right. Okay. Number 31, last book you read. What was it? Um, well, oh, excuse me. The last book I read would probably be Run with the Hunted by Charles Bukowski, and I was also reading at the same time, um, 
the poetry collection of Sylvia Plath. And yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the last one. The, the, because I was reading those two at the same time. Um, oops, uh, where am I at? Number 32, the book you're currently reading. Uh, I actually have that over here. Uh, it's called Nostradamus. I got it for my girlfriend for Christmas. It's about, um, it's like 200 to 250 pages of all these different prophecies he's given through like structures of poems. And then the narrator or the editor writes out like what he, what they think he meant or something. It's really interesting. I already read through all the ones that are past the year 2000. It's really interesting. Um, number 33, last show you watched. Probably, uh, Cover Killer Nation's um, top five metal vocalists. That's all. It's a guy on YouTube. That's the last show I watched. Um, number 34, last person you talked to, it'd probably be Rob. Um, we were talking about how uh, Nancy put up this thing on Tumblr about this uh, story that I never finished. That I was like, oh, here's this thing because I have to post things on my fan page called Roaches of Brown Locusts. And she said that someone from like a book company retweeted it on Twitter or something. And so me and Rob were talking about it. Uh, number 35, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. Me and him are like best friends. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Really, really neat person. He comes over, plays video games, or we go out and we drink together. And, you know, we just, you know, go to the bars once, once in a while and, you know, have a few drinks, have some wine. They mostly come over, play video games, and we make uh, music. You know, he's always my best friend. I've been best friends for five years, and yeah, he's an awesome guy. You know, if you're on my fan page, get to know him. Uh, number 36, favorite food. Probably authentic Italian, but I hate Olive Garden. So, like, it's got to be authentic. I like salads and, like, Alfredo pasta. That's, like, my favorite stuff. Um, 37 place you want to visit heaven. I don't know. Go back to the Bay, I guess for a little bit. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, number 38, last place you were, uh, Phoenix. I was at, I was in Phoenix dropping off my girlfriend so she could get to work on time. And me and my brother went down to a, gas station to fill up after he got in and out and it was like super sketchy um number 39 do you have a crush i used to have a crush on that chick i think her name's marana or marina or something from marina and the diamonds i guess she's like my celebrity crush but my i don't really like have a crush now but she was my old one and then probably my girlfriend was my last crush so I don't know, I guess. Um, number 40, last time you kissed someone. Last time I kissed someone was my girlfriend, and that was in Phoenix. Number 41, okay, we're almost done. Last time you were insulted. Last time I was insulted was by this Christian guy. I don't know who he was. I don't remember his name. It was online. He called me a little man. And I want to fight him after that, but uh, he like, lives in a different state. Um, so I let it go. I turned the other cheek, you know, just for the Christian people watching. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, no, that did happen. No, he explained something about something about one of my videos and they called me a little man and some other things. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I let all those things go up until this question. Um, yeah, some jerk online who thinks he knows more than me about the Bible. And I don't know, he might, I don't know. Um, next one. Number 42, favorite flavor of sweets. I really like hot Cheetos and hot fries. I love that stuff. Uh, when it comes to chocolate sweets, uh, probably Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Right now, it always changes. Um, number 43, what instruments do you play? Uh, I play the keyboard, I play the guitar, I play the drums. Badly. Uh, next one is number 44, what f favorite piece of jewelry? Um, I used to wear jewelry a lot, like probably up to a couple years ago, I stopped. I just don't really care to buy new ones. My favorite one was actually this, 
uh, ring I used to wear on this finger of a, a black oval with a dragon claw around it that I got on some website online. When I lost it, when I moved from the last apartment to this one, I got it in commemoration to Minor Rob's friendship. You know, that sounds kind of weird. And I lost the ring and I cannot find it. So I might just, I was thinking about buying another one, but that was my favorite one. Pretty sure that's it. Okay, next one. Uh, last sport you played, number 45. Uh, fighting. Wait, sports for it. Um, oh. Yeah, fighting and wrestling. Uh, number 46, the last song you sang. I sang, the last one I sang was in my car. It was about four or five days ago. Or maybe six days ago, it was um, Who Will Save the Sane by Typo Negative. Favorite chat-up line, 47, uh, Satan is a, I'll censor it, Satan is a dumb person. That's my chat line on Facebook. I use it like every day. It's just me and my friends. I don't know if, I don't know if that constitutes a chat line. I don't really know what that is. Um... 48, have you ever used it? Yeah, I use it all the time. I'm, is it asking like a sex line, like a sex chat? Because I never really used any of those even in the past. I just did it the old-fashioned way and went on chat rooms. But I don't do that anymore. I haven't done that in years. That's sinful. All right, next one is... Okay, second to last question. Thank God. Number 49, last time you hung out with someone, it was with my brother and... No, no, hold on. Last time I hung out with someone was my mom, my dad, and my brother last night at dinner. We had tacos. And the last question is, who should answer these questions next? I don't know if you want to do it.